Okay, let's get started. So let's start off by creating a new bill. Let's go to new under vendors. You're going to go to bill. And here on the top uh, left hand corner, we're going to select who the vendor is. Let's say we're paying this insurance company. Here we have the category. Uh, you could write a description, perhaps the month that you're paying and the dollar amount here it also gives us an option if the this bill is going to be billable to the customer if yes check it if no no if you do check it you're going to have to select the customer so in this scenario i'm going to bill it to cool cars if i uncheck it then you can still see uh the customer uh, this transaction in the customer p l uh if you're doing job costing Okay, so now that I'm done, I'm going to hit save and close. Okay, so now we have the bill that we need to pay. I'm going to go to new again and under vendors, I'm going to go to pay bill or pay bills. And uh, here, well, first we start at the top left hand corner. We have how we're going to pay. In this case, I'm going to use a checking account, which we have a balance of 1201 we have a payment date of 8.30, which is today's date. And we select the check number. I'm going to change it to 100. Then I'm going to select the bill that I want to pay. So in this case, I'm paying uh, Brosnahan Insurance Agency, $500. Here we have the $500, the total payment amount. And here below, you can see that we have the current balance of 1201, as we do up here. And then we have a total payment, which is this payment here, which is reducing the bank balance to 701. Once you are done, you have a few options. If you've connected your bank account to QuickBooks Online, you can make the e-payments. If not, you can just hit save and it'll just save as of the last changes you've made. You can save and print, which would be printing the check and or save and close if you just want to uh, annotate this bill as paid. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. And like I said, if you selected the customer for the PL, then we can look that up by the PL for the customer. So I'm going to hit customer, I'm going to go to cool cars, hit run report. And here we have the $500 payment for insurance. Uh, if I open this up, we'll see that it is for this bill that we just created. And now it's marked paid. Check number 100 as I created it uh, when we started. And just like that, simple. That's how you create a bill and mark it paid.